Hello there, everybody. So this is Kelly. Kelly doing her Kelly Kelly's Kitchen, right? And I'm going to feature today um, the citrus beet salad that was in our Libby magazine for this quarter, the spring magazine. So anyways, I want to be able to show you the recipe that's actually on page 10 so that you can see it. I'm gonna switch you around um, and to be able to say hello again, this is Kelly. Um, and my daughter, my wonderful uh, teammate and my partner in crime, she's gonna be uh, videoing for me um, everything that I'm gonna be doing and sharing with you about this recipe. Um, so I made some modifications and um, I'm gonna explain a little bit along the way. All right, so here I'm gonna have her take over. All right, so. Um, anyways, you able to see? Mm -hmm. All right, so it calls for four medium-sized beets um, that are cooked and cut in quarters, um, a half a cup of microgreens, a cup of cherry tomatoes, halved, a quarter cup of feta cheese. Uh, so those are the ingredients for the salad. So I didn't have microgreens, so I went ahead. What I had for greens on hand was some asparagus, and those are really good, nutritious for you. So I just kind of steamed them up. They were frozen. I'm gonna throw them in my big bowl. And I don't measure things. Usually that was just a bag full of frozen asparagus. And then the beets, I got the love beets, the organic cooked love beets. And I just diced them all up. There was actually about five of those in there. And I'm gonna stick them in my bowl. All right. And then the tomatoes, I just grabbed a whole container of one of the cherry tomatoes. And we're gonna put them in the bowl. And then instead of feta cheese, I get the Daya uh, non-dairy uh, cheese to be able to uh, make sure that there's no issues with uh, dairy. And I cut up, I probably, if I would've had a half of a block, I would've cut up a half of a block or maybe even a whole block because I like cheese but I had a quarter of a block left. So I just cut up the quarter of a block that I had. And so now I'm done with all of this. Move it out far away. And now we're gonna go to the dressing. So the dressing is a eighth of a cup of olive oil, one tablespoon of white balsamic vinegar, uh, two drops of lime, two drops of wild orange, salt and pepper, and one tablespoon of honey. So how I'm changing it up is I've got this, and again, I don't really measure, but I know that an eighth of a cup is about right here on my little jar. So I'm just gonna stick eighth of a cup of olive oil. And I didn't have white balsamic vinegar, but I really like the red, the cherry wood flavor one. So um, that's what I'm gonna use. And it was asking for one tablespoon. So I know that that's probably about a tablespoon I'm able to see on the bottom. And then it asks for regular honey, but I like using Manuka honey. One, I don't have to use as much, and it's also, um, it's an excellent um, honey as far as uh, helping with your immune system. It also doesn't, um, it's the one type of natural uh, uh, sweetener other than stevia that will not create any type of candida issue or gut bacteria, it actually helps fight gut bacteria. And the cool thing about Manuka honey is you don't need very much at all. As a matter of fact, that's plenty. Cause like the recipe asked for one tablespoon. So you can see, I probably put like a half of a tablespoon. Cause Manuka honey is really strong in flavor and it's also very potent because of its therapeutic factors. Then we're gonna put in two drops of lime one, two, oh, I got a third one, that's okay. And wild orange, one, two, got a third one. <laughs> now it asks for salt and pepper. <clears throat> I really like using the black pepper that we have for our oil, so I'll just be really careful, get one drop in. There we go. And then I have my pink Himalayan salt. And so it's pretty much salt and pepper to taste, so. I'm just gonna put in a good scoop. <clears throat> and we're gonna shake it all up. And then I'm 
going to go ahead and pour it all over. All right, and if I really want to make sure I get all the rest of those goodies, I'll put a little bit of olive oil still in there, and maybe just a little bit of water. <clears throat> so I put a little bit of my filtered water, stir it all up to make sure I get all the flavorings, all the rest of that honey. There we go. And I'm gonna stir it. Make sure we can see all the beautiful colors. And this type of salad, what I like to do, I usually like to let it sit in the refrigerator, get really cold, let all of those flavors marinate together and be able to get the flavors and the tastes together. But you can see that, you know, it asks for certain microgreens. Figure out whatever green is just really healthy and nutritious that is in your house at the time. Work with it, play with it. It doesn't have to be exactly what is in a recipe. So anyways, that is my fun kitchen tip for today. I hope you guys enjoy making your own beet salad and playing and tweaking with your recipe ingredients. All right, you guys have a beautiful and blessed rest of your day. God bless.